day four at the Rio Open presented by Claro and the main event at the Jockey Club was the second round tie to set local fans' pulses racing as the Brazilian numbers one and two faced off. Tiago Montero and Thomas Pellucci had never previously met on the ATP World Tour, although both these lefties know each other's games inside out, and so it was no surprise to see a closely contested first set. After an early exchange of breaks, it was the younger Montero who edged a tiebreak, having saved three set points. Got him this time, what a way to clinch the set. Rather than get downhearted though, Pellucci regrouped and the higher ranked home hero was on course to level the match. Oh, he's turning it on here. Bellucci in this game, seizing the initiative. Level it he did, but Bellucci's form immediately dipped and Montero had a famous victory within his grasp. Well done. Good mentality from this young man. Just the one required. Montero superb in sealing the deal and he wins this battle of the Brazilians in Rio. Alexander Dolgopolov is very much a man in form. The Ukrainian arrived in Rio having won last week in Buenos Aires. The world number 50 faced off against Argentina's Horacio Ceballos and after spurning the chance to take the opener in regulation time, the former finalist here wrapped up the set after a tiebreak. And he wraps it up. That's 13 sets in a row. Dolgopolov has won on the ATP World Tour. With the second looking like going much the same way, Zabayos was determined to find a way to cut it short. It's just much better point construction, isn't it? The world number 73 levelled the match up moments later, but in the decider it was Dolgopolov looking the more likely to break. Yeah, he's made it. The Ukrainians was the first of three breaks in a row, meaning the chance was still there to serve for the match. The win streak continues for Alexander Dolgopolov. And Dolgopolov would play fourth seed Pablo Carreño Buster in the quarterfinals, who needed three sets to get past lucky loser Victor Estrella Borgos and ensure there would be three seeded players in the final eight. Two of the surprise packages of this year's tournament faced off as Kaspar Ruud and Roberto Caballas Banya took to Guga Curtain Court. With a brutal first set coming to a head, the Spaniard was getting the better of the long exchanges. I should have made that. After a grueling opener went to the Spaniard, it was the Norwegian number one who had the energy reserves to forge ahead in the second. Yeah, good. Was finished to the game again. Momentum swung back in the favour of Caballas Banya, but rude breakdown wasn't finished in this encounter as he surged back into contention. Really good from Rude. Loved a little floated uh, backhand there up the line to get into the point. He's been going, looking for it actually a few times without success. <laughs> Another tiebreak set decided it, and a spent Caballas Banya run ragged by Rude was sent on his way. Another impressive performance from the teenager. The fairy tale week in Rio just goes on and on for Casper Rude. So the final eight are decided, and Friday we'll see all four quarter-final encounters play out on Cougar Curtain Court. If the first half of the week is anything to go by, there'll be no foregone conclusions.